Hello folks, Captain Dave, not in the wolf den. But I'm in the shop garage, I guess you could call it. And what am I looking at today? I'm looking at a well-used ugly stick striper casting rod very well used looking at an ugly tough guide and you say to yourself damn Dave that's one nasty looking guide it's basically just it's you know it's not the most high dollar stainless steel by any means but you can see it's all green stainless steel does not mean that's the biggest misconception that it doesn't stain or like this it doesn't get green just like an old Penn Senator reel golly those things were just green monsters if you didn't keep them clean now if you're an anal retentive look that big word up it sounds really bad I know you may say to yourself well you know I got a bunch of these. It's not hurting anything. They're just nasty looking. And then maybe I could clean them up if you're like me. Now let's look at another one if I can get it in the focus here. Check that one out. Kind of toasty looking. The old Hero 5, you know, a super zoom here. So, I'm doing my best, folks. So, you can see some serious nastiness sort of on that guide. Now, what if I told you you can get that nastiness off? What if I told you you can get that nastiness off your ugly stick tough guides? Well, I've been experimenting, and I've come to find out this cup that I'm using has a hole in it. There's a hole in it right there and I did not know that. <laughs> I was wondering why is all this leaking out? I guess I gotta get a different little cup. All right, I had to switch to a different cup. You know, I've already tried this before I am gonna show you folks. These aren't the old guides, especially the silver ones that used to be on the ugly stick stripers. Back then, you could clean these silver guides that had the inserts. You could clean them with uh, Tarnix, and I have a video about that that I'll put in the description. So if you still got, you know, just regular steel guides with, a, with an insert, just dip those in Tarnix and get yourself an old toothbrush. You don't have to do much. But Tarnex is not for stainless steel. So what I'm using here, and I'm just testing things out because I have this stuff on hand. This is for my aluminum boat, not that I use it. Actually, I was using it on my trailer rims, which are aluminum cast machined rims. Just tune bright. And I think you can get much smaller bottles than this biodegradable so this isn't this is not this is actually a brightener I guess you could say see it won't uh, won't harm painted trailers or decals the ugly stick tough guides are a are stainless and what I was experimenting here is to see if I could just clean them up this one has got a lot of kind of green on it now, I don't know about you freshwater guys because I don't fish freshwater, so don't ask me. But in salt water, things turn green. Here's what all I did is I made a cup that I could just dip this in. I take one of my Q-tip sticks here and I run it in all this little groove here and in the uh, cup just submerging it and bathing it 
Because when you spray Tune Bright or any other aluminum cleaner on an aluminum boat, it just does its thing. There is no scrubbing, buffing, or anything like that. So I just dip it in there. These are what I use to clean reels. It's kind of falling apart. That's all I'm doing. And we're gonna test and see. We're just doing a test to see if aluminum brightener will clean the green. That's what it's all about, folks. Because green is corrosion. There's no two bits about it. Green is corrosion on metal. And I've got, I don't know, these striper rods. I don't know, I've got like 20 of them. It doesn't hurt anything. And we're gonna bathe it. And we're gonna see what it looks like afterwards. And I'm gonna do the first guide here. That's the one that we looked at first. So now, here it is. Now what I'll do is I will wash this off and let's take a look at the first one that I showed you. Let's take a good gander to see if the green is now gone. Yes. It looks like it's been really used. If you can see it, I'm trying to show you the best I can. It is a little like pitted looking, but the green is now gone. I don't see one stitch of green left. Right, let's look at the second one that I showed you. It seems to really strip it, and there's no green, but it is clean. Kind of get got this one. You notice a little color on this one? Got, got it down to, like, the underplating, but I don't see any green. It looks smooth. Let me see if I can get the light here. Light is a huge issue when looking at something small. But there you go. It might not be the best looking guide ever in the entire world. It looks to me as if it's a stainless guide and then in here this is welded in or kind of soldered in I guess you could say or something. That's how the ugly tough guides are made but it's nice and clean on the interior. And that's really all that matters, right? No more green. Now, did I just strip something right off? I don't know. But since I have so many of these, I am testing it for you. Because I know there is a lot of guys out there who are kind of like me. Now this one is kind of really corroded kind of looking. Stainless does corrode, folks. There is no two bits about it. Now let's look at another guide. Now these look great. Those look great. Okay, I just washed them off. And these guides are looking pretty good. You know, no green stuff left on them. So, if you wanted to clean up your supposed stainless steel ugly tough guides, just get a little aluminum cleaner brightener. That looks like the uh, complete ticket to getting this done. All the rest of the guides here. Here's one that I didn't do. So there's one I didn't do. And I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see the difference. You can see that green in there. All in there. Now here's the difference from the one that I just cleaned that's right down from it. So it seems to do a good job. 
it was just something I wanted to try because I was picking up these rods and I'm looking at them and I'm seeing all this greenness on my stainless steel. Ugly tough guides. Come on. See you on the next one. Thanks for stopping by, you ugly stick freaks. Yeah.